Day one was a bit hard, a lot of shrubs, the rocks, the climbs. At some point, we had a lot of punctures on the way, but we maneuvered and we're hoping for the best. Challenging, <laughs> but great as well, yeah. For many riders on this event, it was the first time they even entered that part of Kenya, into the land of the Pokot, where we went to Lake Takwa. Most of these girls in Karamoja here, a number of them are school dropouts. There's a little bit of not acceptance, or there's a lot of resistance from the parents who send their children to school from Karamoja here. As Teo was preparing for the tour of Karamoja, he came up with an idea. Mama, let's have the tour of Karamoja to empower girl child. And he really tried to get a classroom of about 20 girls. So the first uh, intake was 15 girls, then the second intake had 25. The school is actually for air dressing, tailoring, catering and bakery, and then hospitality. My interest, if the riders manage to raise money through friends to just educate one girl for three months or for six months. It's the first time I participate and I read about the tour and I've been to the Karamocha district uh, uh, twice before but by car and I just wanted to explore it in a different way so I found this a very nice way but also do something physical active and uh, I love the combination. I really enjoy it and um, I love the environment, the things we see on our way, the team spirit, um, yeah, the road but also the, the, the physical endurance. This is my first time on the tour for Karamoja and this is day two. So far we've, we've entered Kenya. It's a good experience and I'm liking it. The tour of Karamoja basically is to bring out the beauty in, within this land that people have always had outside there. So we come to, to check out those sceneries, the people around here, the culture. And then the other reason, the, uh, part of the proceeds to this tour are going to raise funds for taking some girls to a technical school. So those are the two major issues that, that got me attached so much to take part into this, uh, this tour. What we are doing with this tour is with the communities where we stopped. For example, in Ablatuk, where you first stop is from the takeoff from the Pianupe. We're going to get there two girls. We ask the community, do you have a, do you people have girls who are really willing to go to school? But because of lack of money or because they dropped out of school and they would like to go and do skilling. So then we go to where we went to Takwell, Amdat. We also get two girls from there. We thought if we raise enough money, we'll raise a classroom. People need to embrace cycling, it's good first, for, first of all for the health and uh, as you get to move on a bike you, you, you get to know a lot of things. So I think cycling is the way to go. I like the fact that it's not just a cycling trip, it's the whole package. So it's the cultural aspect, it's the, it's the um, raising money for the good cause, for, for, uh, for the girls here. Truthfully speaking, us outside Karamoja, people think that these, these people are so cruel, are so unwelcoming, but the story here is different. The culture, the people are so welcoming, they are so happy to have us around. So I think everyone needs to visit this, this part of the country.
Everybody was camping. We had uh, rides on uh, the lake. We ate some local fish. And uh, yeah, it was quite a day. The good thing is all the provisions that we needed were provided. Tomorrow we have 135 kilometers of riding. We are moving from Kenya, going back to Uganda. I'm expecting a lot of, a lot of work. But the mind is set and we are good to go.